Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you something that I, I wasn't very aware of. Apparently, we can put our animation layers into a folder and we can animate that folder. Amazing, I know. I didn't know that we can do it, so now I know and I'm going to show you how you can do it. And I apologize, I'm a bit less, uh, I guess the word is chaotic. I, I guess, I don't know, you will see, you will see. Anyway, it was either this or no video at all. So I thought, hey, let me let me torture myself for you guys. So hope you enjoy and just roll the video. <laughs> So I have uh, what well, I have here. I have the character. I have the lines of the character on one layer. I have the background lines on the other layer. And unfortunately, I was stupid enough to make the um, the colors on one uh, layer, uh, including the colors for the bed and the colors for the character. And yes, I do wear pants. Uh, I do wear underwear when I go to sleep. I promise. So, <laughs> so that's that. And then we have the rain. That's the rain. If someone's asking, okay. And there's a, there's a window. Now, what happens if it, it, let's say that we want to move all of this this whole animation off of the screen for whatever reason? Now, back in my days, or back in the days where I wasn't aware of this, I used to do I used to merge all these layers that you see here into one layer, which will well basically it doesn't allow me later on if I want to make a change, let's say to this color over here, I can't really make that change because I already merged all of the layers and that's kind of a bummer. I need to wash I need to call I need to go to the, the shower. Yes. The very important information. Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, once once we we decided that we need to move this, the one of the ways to do that is to either copy all of these, duplicate all of these uh, layers, and merge them into one. Or apparently, there's a way you can actually g get away with that because because I'm I'm apparently I'm just discovering the the hot water now. And the way you can do that if you grab all of your layers that you want to move, hit Shift, right? Hit Control G. There you go, we're gonna make a group, or if you don't know the shortcuts, literally same uh, technique, just right button on your layers and go to group and then go to quick web, web which is here is the your shortcut for that. Anyway, I have this in a group. Now, if I want to move the group, which I can, right? I can move the group, but the problem is, once I, I move this uh, on the timeline, and you see that it doesn't, it, 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 well, it's broken now, isn't it? So, Control Z, there you go. So, we're not gonna move the group. The way you can, because yes, the group allows you to move all of the list, but with the group, once you use the group, you can't really move all of the on uh, on the keyframes over here. So how to fix this? So apparently, there's a fix. And apparently, I just found out about that fix by this user. Thank you so much, sir. Um, you add to your group, right? You add to your. I need to show. God damn it! I look disgusting. Uh, you add to your group. Uh, right button to your group, right? And then go add, add. A control mask. Now, this control mask appears to be the first thing on top. This light is so disgusting. <laughs> yeah, maybe not looking at the light. Stay there, stay there, just stay there. Cool. So, um, where was I? I don't know. Man, I need to chill. So we have the group here, the mask, uh, the mask for the group on top. So now. I'm still on my move to over here, trans actually it's a transform tool or whatever. And if I um, select my transform mask, now if I move this whole thing, and then I go through the timeline, you see that actually this thing kind of, kind of moves, right? Yeah, it does remember the position of all of these keyframes and it doesn't break them, which is great. 10 out of 10, yes, yes, okay. So, so but this is not enough for me. What, what happens if I want to animate all of, the, all of this animation. As I said, I want to move this animation to disappear on the screen. Now, my animation is very short, keep that in mind. It's like 7 frames, and my frame rate is 8 frames per second. Uh, but ideally, your animation will be um, longer, so don't worry about that. Now, before I move anything, I'm hit Ctrl Z to bring back in the same time, in the same spot. And we go to animation curves. If you don't have animation curves, uh, 
the curse there you are settings no curse and then click the animation curves usually you should have animation curves but if you don't i don't know where to find it so go to the first frame aka the zero frame and then we gonna add the keyframe to this we know that our animation uh ends on frame seven which over here so uh, let's say on frame five we can add a keyframe and then we can click here and then we can holding shift i guess move this away let me just zoom out of this did I say I need to shower? I need to shower. And uh, yeah, if we play this, now it will loop eventually because that's how it works in Crimson. But if you have a longer animation, uh, you know, this should be a problem for you. So that's my video for today. I Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. Uh, I really had no no time this week i i'm sorry i really want to make a video though and that's the video i'm coming up with so i'm gonna go shower and you're gonna like this video or share with your grandma or you know whoever and i'm gonna see you in the next one hopefully i will have something more interesting planned and hopefully i do not fall into the trap or off this block because i think i'm going there because of running out and 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 all the stuff that's happening anyway goodbye for now see you see you in the next one stay safe stay happy bye 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 let me yes bye